Hey NXT, today we started Acts 1. I'm so excited. Acts, man, if there was a reality show about the Bible, it would be Acts. And in Acts 1 we see, there's just one thing I want to point out. And it's when Jesus says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Man, if you want to get into the mechanics of our faith, this, this is where the rubber meets the road. That you, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And this is critical to everything we believe and everything that we act out in our faith. That guys, that there is, the Holy Spirit is with you. That when there is power uh, in you, it is the Holy Spirit working in you. I want to encourage you today that um, the Holy Spirit is working in you. Guys, that if you have uh, believed and confessed, God, that, that He is working in you. And I just also want to encourage you today that um, there is a baptism of the Holy Spirit. There is an overflowing of the Holy Spirit that is available to you. If, if you've experienced then that, then I just want to encourage you to, to go after God. And if you haven't, um, just talk to a pastor, talk to your leader. Uh, we want to see God move in you in powerful ways. And he does that through the Holy Spirit. So let's pray today that God would just um, bear fruit in our lives through the Holy Spirit. Let's pray that um, God would just give us a sense of encouragement about his love through the Holy Spirit. So let's just go to him now in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you have sent your Holy Spirit. Lord, that you are now always available because of your Holy Spirit. Father, I pray that your Spirit would come upon these students, God, that there would be uh, a witness of power in their life, God, that you would bear fruit in their life. Lord, I pray that today you would be with them, God, that you would use them in their school, use them in their home. Father, that um, they would sense you in their life, God, that you would um, give them courage to be righteous, courage to seek after holiness and, and to speak the truth into others' lives. Father, I pray that you would bless them today and in your name, amen.